What's going on, my peoples and my peoples to be? We're back at it again. Yo, this is Rock, and this is my lovely, lovely, lovely co-host, Ted. What's up, Nana? What's up, Slowpoke? <laughs> oh, she on it today. She's on it today. Today, yeah, she's on. She's on it today. All right, so Nana, what we want? What we what we talking about today? We're talking about what? The black families. Uh, black, black families. Wow. Family, family. Okay, yeah. so okay, <laughs> so so black families, and when we say black families, we're talking about um, African American families family specifically. <laughs> no, when we talk oh. about black, because America is the only country that refers to. Um, people with dark skin as black. Every other country refers to, even if you're dark skinned, as whatever you're at, you know. And if they need to, you know, uh, to get into a further, they might say, oh, the dark fellow or whatever. But if you're a Briton, you're just a Brit. In America, you're black or white. Okay. All right. But that's not, that's not what they, well, in America, you're either black (laughs) or you're white, pretty much. I mean, it's a melting pot, but basically. Right, 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 right. You know, black and white is what it boils down to. So, mm-hmm. uh, anywho, Nana do, um, black families mm-hmm. is what we want to talk about today. Yeah, um, I thought about that topic because, like, I was telling you about my my mother. My mother had like I think all together there was like fourteen of them, you know, brothers and sisters. And all these years later, there are three girls left and two boys. Mm-hmm. And one of my aunts is rude. I'm like, she's just really rude. Really? And you know, like as an elder and rude, as an elder in the family, like, you know, you respect your elders. Um, but it's gotten to the point like with her, we're like, no, she don't respect me. I'm not respecting her. I'll be as respectful as she is. I'll be as nice as she is. And if she's not that, oh, one, two, oh, one, two. well, Oops, sorry. <laughs> because just rude, just rude. And yeah. she says things that are like, and when she says things that are rude, everybody's like, oh, well, that's just her. Okay, when right. I finish cursing her out, that's just me. Because I'm not going to let you talk to me any kind of way. Just right. rude. You know? And some of the rudeness I can understand. And some of the rudeness is just like, it's not even rude, it's mean. Like, if you're overweight, she will call you on that. Right. But it's crazy because she's never called me on my weight. And I've been overweight my whole life. Um, And I don't know, maybe she know better. (laughs) I don't know. She probably knows better. I mean, yeah. She might know better. Because she, oh my goodness. Oh no. Mm. People, I know. I, I always tell people that my family is mean, like, and they are, we are mean people. Um, And I'm, look, and I'm the nice one. (laughs) Okay. Ooh. Mm. But you you are nice, Nana, for the most part. You you are nice. Listen. You're a nice person. I'm nice. And I don't start it. No, it's not, I don't start it, but I will finish it. Ooh. Ooh. Watch out now. Watch out now. And that's, that, that's like, there are predominantly women. Like, my family is very woman. Like, there's more women in my family than men. Like, right. all my hundred cousins, is more women than men. Right. Um, and we are all, like, but we're all the same way in terms of we don't start. There's only a few that will start stuff. <laughs> but the rest of us won't start it, but we'll finish but it. We'll finish it. All right. Finish it. Oh, um, mm, mm. And, you know, my mother's sitting up there trying to convince me that my aunt being rude is okay because that's just how she's been her whole life. Right. Doesn't mean and you got like, put, doesn't mean you gotta put up with it, though, right? The... Listen, listen. People go to her house and don't go inside because you don't know if she's going to let you in or not. Mm. As one time she invited me to her house and she lives in Virginia. She invited me to her house and I yeah. said, okay, so you still want me to come over tomorrow? She was like, no, you can't come over tomorrow because blah, 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 blah. And I said, and so later on we talked about it and I said, you invited me over. She said, well, then why did you ask? 
I said, because I know you had a lot more people at your house than you were expecting. And I was trying to be respectful. Right. And she said something and I, I went deaf because I'm like, yo, you can invite me back there if you want to, but guess who ain't coming? Mm. Me. Mm. <laughs> oh, and boy. Nana. All right, Nana. Mm. Tell them how you really feel. Look, and she used to be one of my favorite aunts. <laughs> used to be. There you go. You used to be. I love her still. You used to. Well. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. What? I don't goodness know, gracious man. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I What's that? I said, what are you goodness gracious thing about? The family mm -hmm. dynamic. I mean, all right, because I know your family is mob deep. Like, yo, you, you, you're one of those Hatfield and McCoy deep type families. I mean, y'all like. <laughs> I mean, it seems like every conversation we have, and every time you bring up family, it's a different sect or a different name that I haven't heard before. It's like it's like never ending. It's like, it's it's like you got a sign of people seeking asylum in your family. Like every time I turn around, something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got people covering from all over the world to be a part of your family dynamic because it's like never ending. It's like always just like more and more and more and it never ends. Like, God damn. Because it's a lot of us. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. And there are a lot. So, my grandma, I tell you, my grandmother had about 14 kids, right? Whew. Um, oh And my mother has the least amount, and that's one. Right. And then my aunt, like, no, and nobody has like two kids. So either you have one or you have three, and then everybody else is like five and up. And I have another aunt, and she, I think it's about 11 kids, 10, 11 kids. And then their kids have had kids. Like, that's, that's just where we are. Um, and then we keep finding other kids that, you know, somebody, you know, somebody done you dipped. Know, oops. Yeah, the oops. Yeah, some, you know. Oh, like nobody told you. I mean, like, like my, my my aunt, the same aunt. She was like, "Oh, I was I was looking for Cecil's number, and and that's not his real name." And she's but she's like, "I was looking for Cecil's number," and I was like, "Who's that?" Oh, that's your cousin. I'm like, okay. And then she's like, and, and blah blah blah, and she and um and Lisa, and I was like, and who's that? That's your cousin. I'm like, okay, if you say so. If you say so, I mean, and I'm and, and part of me is like, listen, I got enough cousins. <laughs> I got enough cousins. Could somebody find me a brother or sister? No. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, I got, I got enough cousins. Come on, man. Well, I don't know. Fortunate. So you consider your fortune, yourself fortunate or unfortunate to be the only child? And a family that, family, and a family whose mo is y'all are deep. Like the, the the skins get spread on a regular basis. Do you mean you can't get, you rude? You just rude. Look, you can't have. Um, look, I'm just saying you can't have 14 kids with a lot of fucking going on. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead. I, I I'm just are, saying. Y'all gonna say, are you done? Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> I'm about to pull an embargo. Uh, embargo. He's like, are you done? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I felt in my family, I felt unfortunate oh. because. Um, to be an only child because because I was an only child, I felt like, you know, I was easy prey mm. for a lot of things that, you know, that happened. Right. And nobody really ever kind of supported my, you know, supported me or had my back for things. And so I would say in my family, I was, it was definitely a disadvantage to be an only child in my oh. family. Damn. All right. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, I mean, at, look, at this point, I know you didn't just yawn. No, that wasn't a yawn. That was a. Did you just yawn? Oh, that was like, I was doing oh. the the all for the whole, you know, for 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 all the people that's watching out there. The, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna bust in your eyes, Ay, Dios mío. Jesus. Yeah. Please. So. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. My family is uh, a piece of work, let me tell you. 
Yeah. You know that, I, well, I told you, I don't go to family reunions. I, I would, I don't go to family reunions. Yeah, you're not doing that no more. So you can be yeah. tormented by the people that used to torment you as a youngster and still be <laughs> staying dumb shit in your 50s and still be trying to take shots. Yo, and it's crazy because now is really not the time you want to take shots. No, like, no, no. Now it's like I'm not that person. So you don't actually want to take shots. Right. Um. Now is not the time. You, you, don't, you don't. You don't. I'm telling you. You want to do everything but take shots. Yeah. Now. And I was going to say, you know, you, you, you know, you're not, it's not even like you're in a position to take shots, but even if you were, I don't care if you was as beautiful as, you know, Vanessa Williams, or if you was as handsome as Denzel Washington or Idris Elba, you know what I'm saying? You don't get to go up to people and just start taking shots at them, especially as your family, you're going to roll up and because you might be considered like the, you know, basic standard of beauty or handsomeness. And you think because the other person is not where you think they should be and you just want to take shots like ain't nothing supposed to happen it's like you know most people i mean it's easier when you're picking on younger people because younger people don't always mm -hmm. know how to respond or don't got the confidence right, to, right, to right, respond right. to shoot you down but it's like come on like yeah okay you good looking but you know on the outside but you ugly inside because look what you're trying to do to people you know you're trying to tear right. people down you know well i will say this it's never been that kind of shot because mm -hmm. they could never talk about my looks. I mean, they would tease me because I was a fat kid, mm -hmm. but in terms of being pretty, no, 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 no. A good looking, and I, yo, no, that's not the shot you take. Like, don't fire that shot. Put, put, put that gun away. Don't, don't pull that one out. <laughs> There are no bullets in that gun. When they pull that gun out, they're like, "Why aren't there bullets in this gun?" Because you don't. Because they. Why are they funny. bullets bouncing no. off her chest? She must be from Krypton. Like, what the hell? Listen, Trying to so, take beauty shots? No. What they do is, you know, they'll like, oh, remember when we were little and you used to cry all the time? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not crying. Wasn't now. funny then, ain't funny now. Ha ha. ha. No. No, I, you know, I, I ain't, I'm not crying now, though. And that should make you nervous that I'm not crying. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, my family's just, you know, I, I guess they mean well, but that's the problem. Everybody means well. It's like, you know, when this is how I always say, well, they mean well. And I'm like, you know what? When you, if God forbid, you know, you get hit by a car, right? Yeah. The person didn't mean to hit you, but you're still hit. You know, but you still, still hit, hit, still laying still on the hit. ground, bro, screaming, bro, Lord bro. Jesus, <laughs> screaming, whatever it is, you're screaming, Lord, my baby, oh, Jesus, oh, god damn, this motherfucker done lost his mind, god damn, why, why, <laughs> why would you, why is it, why, why, that's all I want to know. <laughs> so, yeah. listen, I'm not doing what talking about family. What's that? I said, I'm not going to do what we're talking about, family. You Come steadily tippy tippy this. typing. Like, Who? You, you. You're typing, aren't you? I am not. What are you doing? I just took my band aid off because I heard I got a boo boo. Oh, you got a boo boo? A boo boo? I got a boo boo. Let me kiss it. Did you kiss my boo boo? <laughs> in front of everybody? <laughs> yes, in front of everybody. But, okay, I ain't puckering like, my lips on this damn channel. I ain't puckering. Mean, like, mm. uh, no. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't doing it. Not today. <laughs> not today. Not, not okay, fine. Kiss your boo boo. <laughs> you kiss my boo boo. I got a boo boo. Well, in my neck of the woods, we call a boo boo something else. What? Oh, I bet God. you do, the guy. Come on. Come yeah. on. Just stop it. You don't know how to behave. God can't take you nowhere. Nowhere. Uh, yeah. Nowhere. Uh, I don't know how to act. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, so we were talking earlier. You blast. No, mm -hmm. don't, don't do, please don't do that, Nana. Don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't got Hammer don't black. hurt him on now if Hammer don't hurt him. Oh, 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 oh. So, black families, right? Now, some of the. Oh, you got to share about my girl. Oh, boy. May she rest in peace. Here we go. Who? Go ahead. Miss Beverly. 
Ooh, I've talked about Miss mm. Beverly on other videos, like black families. See, I think trauma exists in all. I mean, we we're talking about black families. We're not talking about the universe and the planet, because I'm I'm sure there's somebody down in Guatemala that could tell you some shit about Guatemalan families, but we ain't talking about that. So, um, whew. all right. So this is what I've come to realize about the older generation for us right and a lot of things that we went through um that we might consider crazy uh when we were younger right and as adults now you might ask the question and say like well why in the hell would they do that right but when you when we stop to look at the lives that our parents and grandparents have and you realize how they was raised and the traumas they went through. A lot of times, parents, they raise you because that's all they know. And right. it's only the good in them that's going to allow them to see in the end that it wasn't the way to go. But at the time, while they were busy raising kids and earning a living, they didn't know no better. They were raising you how they was raised. Right. You, know? you can only do what you know how to do. You can only do what you know how to do. You know, right. so I know for me and my brother personally, there were things that we kind of held against our parents that we thought was, you know, like kind of screwed up. Uh, but then it's only when you stop and you ask the question and you, you really take an interest in your parents and your grandparents mm -hmm. and their lives. And you ask sometimes some uncomfortable questions to ask about how they was raised and how things were. Now, a lot of times we make jokes like me and you, we've done it on this channel. We've made jokes about how we got our asses kicked up and down Linden Boulevard and got the shit beat out of us with, uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, broomsticks and towel racks and you know, all sorts of nonsense and everything, right? But, you know, I would go on a limb and say probably our parents probably got it worse than that. You know, um, and and when they responded to us in those ways, uh, they were only responded because that's how they were raised, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because like now um, I got technically four sons, two stepsons and, uh, and, and and two, you know, that are of my own flesh and blood. Right. And out of uh, like I've never had to lay hands on, you know, my stepsons. But, you know, when my sons. Um, especially my first one. Now, I've only had to lay hands on him like maybe two, three times in his lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. But initially, that's because that's how, um, you know, I'm doing to him what was done to me. That's how I was raised. Right. You fucked up, yeah. you got your ass kicked, you know? Right. But it feels horrible, you know, when you do that, you know? And it's like, it's got to be, mm -hmm. you know, a better way, you know? But in black families... The one thing that always we reserve the right to bust ass at all times, okay? Rather it's right or wrong. <laughs> if most black families are like me, you reserve the right to bust an ass at all times. But we try not to do it. Um, right. You know, but so that being said, um, um, you know, it's just a unique existence, you know, for, for, you know, white people, they get beat too, you know, but they call it spankings, you know. Right. But um, I was going to say, don't, we reserve the bus ass, but it's basically a spanking. It's, oh, yes, yes. Now, we said this on tape in, in, in another video that, um, what we call, well, especially when white and black people talk, right? White people call it spankings. We call it beatings. And when they say, when you say beating to them, they're like, oh, my God, it's visions of, like, you being hung up by your wrist and you just being, like, you know, whooped and everything. It's like, well, it might have been that, but your wrist wasn't tied up. You just had to dance around <laughs> and get chased. And <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it might have culminated to that, but you wasn't being tied up. Ooh, you just got right. chased around and you got beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. but it's a spanking nevertheless, you know. I mean, unless yeah. you're in a straight up abusive situation, like if a parent comes home from work and just walks in, you go, Hi, dad, and he just goes, You know, shut up and smacks you across the face, that's abuse, okay? Right. But if it's like your father comes home from work and you're like, Yo, who broke the lamp? I don't know. And you got your ass whooped. Well, you know what? Y'all got discipline because, you know, someone needed to have some answers, okay? Right. Why the lamp was broken. Look, and I don't know what's not the answer. <laughs> 
I don't know was not the answer that he was looking for, sir. You know, who broke the lamp? I don't know. Wrong answer. Bad at everybody. My, now, my mother, was <laughs> Miss Beverly, <laughs> she was known for this. When we when uh when she came home and she mm-hmm. asked a question and everybody's answer was not me or I don't know, everybody line up. Everybody got to ask. <laughs> <laughs> like word, no answer. All right, y'all, line up. <laughs> you know. Was that because you didn't want to snitch on each other? In its essence, yes. I mean, I don't recall ever being like, if something went down and I know I didn't do it, and if my brother said I didn't do it, it was never like, uh, all right, if my mom said, all right, line up, and I'd be like, oh, wait a minute, you know, it was him, it was him, you don't say, don't hit me, it was him. No, it was like, look, if we're going to eat, we all going to eat this, because that, that was one of the unwritten rules amongst the brothers. It's like, yo, if some shit go down and I say I don't know, and you know you didn't do it, we're going to say no and hope we get away with it. Hopefully that, you know, we, we get out of this unscathed. But if yeah, it doesn't yeah. and it turns out to be an asshole for everybody, everybody going to take this ass whipping. <laughs> we don't snitch on one another. We don't tell on one. I've never told oh, them. I've man. never gone. My brother did this. My brother did that. And he's never done that to me. You know, we don't like, oh, he did. We, we don't play that game. Like, no. Now, I'll tell you if I see you doing something and I be like, yo, don't do that. You know we're going to get in trouble. You know, and hopefully you listen to me in that instance. You know? Right. Now, what, what might happen is that you might get two ass beatings because we all going to take this ass whooping because it was a not me, I don't know <laughs> answer. But when that whooping is finished, yeah, I might have to beat your ass. You're going to get a second one after this because you're going to get it from me because I had to get it for you. <laughs> okay that's interesting all right all right right. you know so it might go down like that uh Mm -hmm. but yeah no brother we 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 don't snitch on one another if it go down and the the answer questions are asked and the answer is "Mm, i don't know that's what it is across the board Mm, even if i know i don't know (laughs) you're gonna have to investigate and find out on your own black families damn it (laughs) what is the funniest Mm-mm. Um, family function that you've ever attended. We funniest family function. Family function. Family is. I said the funny. The funny family is function. Funniest family. You know okay, I mean? events. Family. Fun, funniest family function. I'm bracking my brain real quick. Um, shoot, I'm gonna have to edit out some of this dead space in the middle. I think about that. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wow, maybe you are funny, 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 funny. Uh, shit. Um, all right, I can, uh, you know, uh, black extended families. Like now, we're talking about fa- black families, and maybe we'll get into it in this video. We don't. My family is very mixed. My family, uh, my children are mixed. My nieces and nephews are mixed. Um, you know, we got Greek people in my family. We got Jewish people in my family. You know, um, we got Spanish people in my family. We got Puerto Ricans. We've got Irish. Um, you know, so we've we've got we've we've got a nice little mix going on um, in my family. And I'm not sure what my um, my nephew, his wife, I think she's Samoan. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, she's Me- they're Mexican. I, I believe they're Mexican. I'm not I'm to you know figure that out, but she has that that beautiful you know that that skin tone that Mexican and Samoans have that dark brown like smooth no blemish like just damn like <laughs> yeah so yeah his wife Gina she's okay. got that skin like you'd be like I don't know what she is but goddamn like okay so <laughs> you know um so um my children's um aunt and uncle right. Um, aunt, aunt and Uncle Jiggy, right, is how I affectionately refer to them, right? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we we're at their house for a holiday event and stuff, and, you know, kids running all around, you know, the nephews and nieces and stuff. Like, it's like, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe like nine nephews and nieces are running around. It's like a lot of people, right? Mm-hmm. So they're very cute, you know what I'm saying? Aunt and Uncle Jiggy. They they they're very cute together, you know. Pet names for themselves and stuff like that. They refer, they refer they refer to each other as doombies. They so they're the doombies for each other. It's like doombie this, doombie that, doombie doombie doombie, right? 
So Aww. one holiday season, you know, um, night's coming to an end or whatever. And my man, Uncle Jiggy, is, uh, you know, going to Mama Jiggy. And he's pressing her up for some buns, right? She ain't necessarily in the mood <laughs> no, for the you're buns. This up. No, I'm not. He, he's pressing you're for the buns. It. He's like, yo, Doomby. Like, yo, like, yo, I, I, I need some of that. Like, yo, what's up? Doomby, 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 right? And she's like, yo, Carl, leave me alone. I was like, yo, but come on, Doomby. Da, 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 da. So their home at the time had two floors. All the bedrooms were on the second floor. <laughs> Uh, and you know the family kitchen area is on the first floor so I was already upstairs in the mm-hmm. bedroom area and I guess you know everybody's winding down and finding their corners and stuff like that so, mm-hmm. <laughs> so he keep pressing her doom me doom me doom me you know what's up so she gets so she you know gives into her womanly duties she's like all right fine come get it right he's like doom me you ain't gonna take a shower she go look you gonna get it funky or you ain't going to get it at all, okay? <laughs> I can't, I can't. How old were they at the time? How old were they? Um, I want to say, all right, I'm going to say it had to be mid, mid-20s, I would say. Mid-20s, upper-20s. I don't think they were in their 30s yet. You know, might have been, but I'm trying because our kids were all like, you know, <clears throat> small at that time. Our kids were all kind of like uh, that whole um, elementary, junior, high school kind of era, like in, you know, in, in that okay. era, you know, and, and the kids are kind of like stepladder between all the families, between um, between my kids, um, um, their cousins from their aunt and uncle Jiggy, their, their, uh, mm-hmm. their cousins from um, their aunt Mary. Um, so yeah, those were those were the three. It was um, it was Mary's kids, okay. it was Joanne and Carl's kids, and it was me and Cook's kids. So yeah, it was all of them, you know, combined together. And um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so that, that that's you know that's a funny necessarily not necessarily black story, but you know it was a funny yeah. mixed family story. So Nana, do what about you? Tell me a funny black family story mm, no I'm not going to tell you a funny black family story I'm going to tell you a couple of stories funny my family stories oh oh here we go because my family we always like we always um we we kind of turn up at um funerals turn up at funerals <laughs> we, we could turn up not at turn funeral. out turn up Turn up. Okay. Um, because we don't have a lot of patience. And if somebody thinks they overheard you say something, it's on. Mm. So my cousin Nathaniel, he passed away. He was a state trooper. Mm-hmm. And he died in the line of duty uh, on Valentine's Day in 2000. I can't remember. I, right now, it escaped me. Um, oh, no, in 1997. Right. February 14th, 1997. Mm-hmm. So we get to the funeral. Like, I, I drove. It was like, we got up there, um, and he was um, dating um, this this person. He was dating her. And what was funny was that um, when I spoke to her, and I was like, you know, oh my God, you know, what happened? I'm screaming at her. And she goes, well, I'm not going to have a funeral. I just can't do it. And I was like, you're a what? Oh, I was like, oh, this woman done lost her mind and she hung up the phone on me. Oh, I was no, like, she did not hang up on okay. me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, girl, mm. you, clearly you don't know me like that. Don't think because, you know, I love the thing that I, right? so I was like, okay. Oh, was like, I don't like people please. playing on my phone. I'm like, no, no, she's grieving. I'm going to give it to her, right? So we get to the funeral, and because it's an officer's, um, you know, funeral, there's a whole bunch of people, there's media, there's this and that. And so even though she was not married to him, they were treating her like she was the wife. And I'm like, she, they weren't even engaged, okay? Right. The right she, she never even had a ring. She never even had a rock, okay? So, okay. Um, you know, she she they walking around and 
they are treating her and her and her friends uh, in the funeral home, and they sitting in the front. They, they they sitting in the front. We sit in the back, right? Right. And this had gone on for like a couple of days. Mm. Um. And so, and and his best friend, because he said he was Nathaniel's best friend, but I, Nathaniel, I, he never told me that, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, his best friend is just being a pain, and every time somebody asks a question, he answers. Mm-hmm. So, this particular day, <laughs> this I think it's like maybe the second day we were there, or maybe the third day. Right. Um, we're sitting in the back, and now my family's full. Like, like I said, we don't start stuff, but we'll finish it, right? Mm-hmm. But now my family's about to turn up. So, my cousin Angelique is rocking and this. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. She was like, yo, Angie. And so it's funny. Okay. So, um, his best friend's wife was there. Mm-hmm. And she would look at us like, what are these people doing here? And and it was, what are these black people doing here? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's how she was looking at us. Mm. So my cousin was like, yo, she was like, yo, Angie, I am about to, I'm about to beat this oh down, mm. right? Right. And I'm telling her, no, Tiny, calm down. No, Angelique, just calm down. Don't, don't do this, right? So I'm sitting there and she's getting louder and louder. So Norman, his best friend, mm-hmm. says, why don't we sit to the side so, you know, the family can sit up here. And she was like, his girlfriend wants us here, because I refuse to say her name. Mm-hmm. Um, his girlfriend wants us here, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 Angelique is like, oh, this bitch is tripping. Like, I mean, so she was singing all of it. And I'm going, oh, my God. Because, listen, when my family gets started, and my whole thing was like, when she gets started, Somebody else gonna get started, and it's gonna be over. Mm-hmm. And as much as I didn't want that to happen, as much as uh, no, as much as I did want to choke the people, I knew Nathaniel wouldn't want that. That's not who he was. He knew his family, which is why he stayed away. He mm-hmm. had moved up to Europe, right? So, um, I so she starts talking loud. You know how black people start talking loud. Mm, That's my mom. Like, my mama starts blah, talking blah, loud. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! My mother's like, oh, oh. Let me, yeah. So she starts talking loud, yeah. and and um, his girlfriend's mother comes over, and Norman gets up, um, and he's um, you're like half black, half white, I guess. Cause thought he, you know, maybe he knew what was about to, what was about to go down because everybody else was like, "What's the matter with these crazy black people?" Mm-hmm. Um, and they come over and they're like, "What's the matter? What's the matter?" And Angelique is like, <sighs> "She rocking back and forth," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I said, "I said, I said, listen." I, so I said, "Let me like, let me try to be the voice of reason." Whenever I'm trying to be the voice of reason, right. there's a problem. <laughs> there's a problem. If I'm trying to be the voice of reason. Really? Yeah, That's how you look at problem. that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. And my family, if I'm trying to be the voice of reason, because usually I'd be like, yo, where the party at? Right. But as an adult, as a child, not right. so much. Right. But as an adult, I'm trying to be the voice of reason. And so they're like, is everything okay? I was like, no, everything's not okay. Mm -hmm. I said, um, I said, you, I said, you guys were Nathaniel's friends. And y'all loved him. And you had a relationship with him. Right. And um, we respect that. Like, as his family, we respect that. And we would never try to take that away from you. Right? Mm -hmm. I said, but we are his family. We are his blood. I have known him since the day I was born. Not that I remember, but, you know, because his mom and mom were close. And we lived together as babies. Well, he was two years older than me, so I was, he yeah. was two and I was, whatever, you know, born. Um, and we were always close. Um, so I'm like, he, like, everybody in my family loved Nick Daniel. He, every, everybody, okay? Um, and he was special to everybody. 
And I was like, and we're his family. And we and I said, and y'all are trying to take that from us. Y'all are trying to separate us. Y'all are trying to negate that. And I said, and it's not fair, right? And I started screaming. But by this time I was like crying. Damn. And I was and I was screaming and crying and I was hysterical because I was like, it's not fair. But it's also not fair that he's in that casket. Like, what what mm. the fudge? Why? Why are we doing it? Right? Right. So anyway, I have my moment. I look up him. I get Norman walks over and grabs his wife. No, <laughs> it's not his chair. Like you gonna sit over here, right? And the girlfriend's mama is holding me, and I'm like, and I want to say get off of me, but you know she was trying to be comforting, and I got it, but I was just so irritated with the whole thing. So um, we go back to the hotel because now a whole bunch of my family are here, and we are at the hotel, and. <laughs> I go up to a cousin's room and they are plotting on Norman. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what the farfic nugan? Yo, they like that motherfucker is done. I'm like, yo, y'all cannot do this. Me, I'm being the voice of reason. I'm like, y'all can't get him. Y'all can, no, this is no, no. oh no, because he's over. That's, you know, every time I ask so and so something, he, I'm like, he was, and then he would be like, um, like, um, like hard about it. Like I said, I'm like, oh God, mm-hmm. somebody better tell him. Where's my silly fixing to shave Mister? Okay, that's what they was fixing mm-hmm. to shave Norman. And I'm like, oh, please don't, like, don't do this. Like, I get it, I get it, I get right. it, I get. It. Don't do this. Don't do this here. Don't do this now. Um, we need to take the high road and, um, that's it. Right. We just need to. Right. Mm. So they were like, we'll think about it. <laughs> and I was like to my cousin Rodney, I'm like, yeah, Rodney. <laughs> I think it's about to be a, a mess here. And my mom almost said it off earlier. Right. Mm-hmm. My mother, because we, were at, we got to the funeral home, home and then they said we couldn't come in. But um, the girlfriend and her people went in. <laughs> my mother said, what the hell is going on here? And then my cousin Debbie was like, what? what? And Rodney was like, stop it. Take a deep breath. You, know, fine. you wouldn't want to. Right. All right. So now the whole, like I said, the whole time. But you know, I thought about it um, later because I would say there were a lot of things that we didn't know, right? So I sang at his funeral and and there was this man who was, he was a police officer. Like, I guess he was an, a, a police officer, a liaison or whatever. And um, this man got on my nerves. Every time I would talk to my aunt, he was talking. And I, it got to the point where I, I went very Brooklyn. And every time he would say something, I would just put my hand up. Mm. And I would look at my aunt. So he was like, okay, so during the service, we're going to do this and then you're going to sing and I'm going to say thank you for your song. I said, why are you thanking me for my song? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Oh, you, and you, he was you, like... You went up there and you sang, your song, you sang I guess, for the, uh, yeah, for the funeral? At the service. At the yeah. service? Yeah. And so I, he, I said, why are you thanking me for the song? You didn't sing You Remind <laughs> Me, did you? You know what? If you don't shut your mouth, <laughs> I'm going to bust you in the eye. I can't wait till you tell that story now. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so nee. I said, well, why are you thanking me? For, right? He said, oh, because I'm going to sing. I said, no, you don't need to thank me for singing at my cousin's funeral. We're family. Who are you? You don't nobody. You're nobody to thank me for singing at my cousin's well, so funeral. So you obviously was very salty even coming off like that. Uh, uh, yo. Yeah. I was. Salt. Tea. And he's looking. He's looking at me like he probably was like this big going inward. Um, but it got to it got to be like that. But every so every time, anyway, the service goes on, and here's my family, right? Because he's a, he was a state trooper. So I was like tons of state troopers, and they were ah! like it was one that picked up my aunt from the air from the train station. And he came in the door. We wasn't even looking at her, okay? 
she came in and was like, hi, aunt. Ooh, who's that? Boy, blood, who's you that? You damn women, boy. Mm-hmm. Talk about all no, us no, men, we dogs. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah, no, look at listen. y'all. This is how it was. Oh, we're at the we're at the bar the night before the funeral, and it's like this. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, who the hell is that? Yeah, what is? What your name is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what your name is? <laughs> what his number is? What your number is? Yeah, but and and the same thing the next day. I'm like, you know, I, it's hard to grieve with all this. Honest in the room. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, my family, we will turn up at funerals. We will. Weddings, not so much. But funerals, you know, things, things can go left at a funeral. Mm-hmm. Um, and the funny thing is, okay, since we're talking about the singing, every time somebody has passed in my family, they want me to sing. So I said to my cousin one time, I was like, who's going to sing when I die? <laughs> You know what this stuff I had the nerve to tell me. I guess we're gonna have to put it in. What she had the nerve to tell you. To record myself singing so they can put it in my (laughs) Black families. So we can play it at my funeral. Good lord. I'm a radio. Black families. So So you're gonna play me singing at my funeral. Mm hmm. Because first she said she'll sing. I was like, nobody asks you to sing now, and that's for a reason. Oh, why would I, you know, why are we all of a sudden expecting that you're going to sing at my funeral? But meanwhile, I sing at everybody else's funeral. Right. But yeah, so I guess, you know, they want me to record myself singing so they can play it. I guess uh, I was going to have to be. So. What song do you want mm-hmm. sang at your funeral? I would I'm not cry singing that much for you tonight. Uh-uh. I'm going to sing, um, let me see. Danger! No. <laughs> Danger! <laughs> Lord um, have mercy. I don't know. Um, what, is, what is that song by Beyonce? Um, um, I can have it. Oh, wait a minute. You must not know about me. I have. I can't think of it because there's a lyric that she says. Basically, I dodged. Un, um, <laughs> irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. I am irreplaceable. Ooh, talk, yes. talk your shit now. Because I might sing that. Talk might your sing shit, that. girl. <laughs> Look, and don't be going to my. And I'm gonna add an extra line. And don't be going to my house after the service. Go home. If you that sad, you're going to be sad whether you at my house or your house. Go to your house. Oh, damn. Like, okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell them how you really feel, Nana. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, oh, sweet but, Jesus. Um, okay. I know. I'm doing the most of him, but I love when my mother tells me stories about how they used to We fight. should get your mother on here one day. I mean, maybe no time oh, soon, God. but, you know... <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're up and running by the time this video airs. I don't know. Uh, Because, you know, (laughs) technically we're still in post-production. I mean, pre-production, you know, and uh, pilot mode. We're in pilot mode right right now, technically. But this video may actually end up being, um, you know, when we do release these, um, you know. Which I'm sure it is. I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Cause I bet, goddamn, as many as we got in the can already. Like, oh, they all gonna go to waste. Like, we gonna have to do this all. No, they're way. not. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. They'll <laughs> just be the, the, the breadcrumbs that start out these videos or whatever. So you look back mm-hmm. years later and go, wow, you know what I'm saying? Those were our humble beginnings. 1080p <laughs> and you know and <laughs> ear, uh, iPhone earbuds and all of that. Oh, there's nothing wrong with iPhone earbuds. Look, use what you got, you know, and that's what uh. Uh, you know, that's what we're going to say today. Use what you got. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, yeah. well, I would say almost, almost everything that we're using for this production is a, a use what you got type of thing. Because everything on your end is definitely using what you got. Like, you didn't buy nothing extra in order to do any of this. Like, your camera, your earbuds. Yes, did. You didn't buy that camera yes, specifically for this. No, but I bought this little adapty thing for this. The who? Adapter. The little adapting thing. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, that's a cord. That's that, 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 to make the connections. So you could charge your what MacBook Air? Charge. I still had to buy it. 
Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, thirty dollars. <laughs> okay, I still had to buy it. Still had to buy. And it. I did buy a um, I did buy a uh, mic. But you're not using it yet but because you can't plug the headphone. You, you don't have traditional wired headphones to plug into that headphone, so you can't hear me right, without listening to it to your computer. Right, but um, see, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, you, what was you gonna say? Don't don't get busted in your eyes, not necessary. I mean, you don't even gotta do nothing special. You could just go down to Bodega and buy some, you know, wired headphones, earbuds, or whatever. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't, don't got to do anything special. Going to the huh? How you know I got a bodega in my neighborhood? Oh, I know there's a bodega in your neighborhood. Yeah, you don't. You know live that. in New York. There's a bodega in your neighborhood. Even I, even, even the I white mean, people got a bodega in neighborhood, but they call it the market. <laughs> or sometimes if they want to get if they want to get gully, they'll refer to it as the deli. So it's the deli or it's the market. But for us, it's the bodega. 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 So, you know. But, yeah. You know, um, I don't even know why we're talking about gear. Use what you got. Just about everything that I got. This microphone that I'm using. And, um, well, actually, the camera that I'm recording with, I bought that the anticipation right. that I would shoot 4K videos at some point. So that's that, but that was even before we started this channel. But I had it in anticipation of mm -hmm. content creating somewhere down the line. Um, and a few other things in the back that are, eh, yeah. But use what you have, man. If you're starting up your YouTube channel, use what you got handy. If you got to use your iPhone, use your iPhone. Look, and I need to get some contacts because I keep my glasses keep falling down. I mean, you know. I keep having to keep pushing my glasses up. Well, that's good. They say you should use your hands in the videos. It kind of brings movement to the video and, you know, and, you know, use your hands and, you know, so, yeah. So the fact that you keep, you know, and, 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 and adjusting my glasses. Yeah. And, and, and rifling through your hair. See, there you go again. You just grabbed your hair. You gotta wash that man right out of your hair. You gotta wash that man right out of your hair. Not until you get a social security. <laughs> <laughs> he biting my lines. <laughs> he biting my lines. Like, hmm, shit, you ain't going nowhere until I get big, sign up for that social security. I get that social security. Oh, we're going to have to make that video about like, yo, if you're if you're in your 50s and you ain't got two mil put to the side for retirement, why you need to get married. For the social security. Got to sign up for that SS. If you boy, <laughs> if you want that SS money when the other dies and you want to be able to survive, you ain't getting it if you ain't married. Nope. That's All that old, oh, we was buddies and that was my lover for 30 years. SS don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> y'all living together and y'all putting your social security checks together to survive. And, uh... One of y'all kicks the bucket, that other check dries the fuck up unless you're married. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, love is great. You know, if you can find it, it's a beautiful thing. But I'm telling you people, all this red pill talk and... All right, this is Black Families. We ain't getting into it. Yeah, hello. 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 Thank you, Nana. But that's how our conversations go. We segue. Our conversations always go this way. Black family. Yeah, we're not talking about the Illuminati. All right, you have watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Watch your mouth. You heard what? Oh. Illuminati. You want to slide that in? I said you might as well have said no, 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 no. What? No what? We ain't talking about no Illuminati. Okay. No, we not. But we never were. But you know how you do. <sighs> yeah, black families. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful thing, but it's a weird thing. I tell you, boy. I mean, shh, gee whiz. Why is it weird? It could be weird. I mean, you know, black families be on some shit. I mean, some of the things we do and the things we say and the customs. And then even that varies depending on if you're raised in the north versus raised in the south versus raised True. in the west. You know, True. cultures, is, you know, are just like mad different, you know. I mean, some yeah. things, some things are universal across the board, but other things is like even amongst the, within the black community, depending on what region you're from, things are different. Right. Yeah, 
that's true. I would say that. I would, I would agree with that. You know, real talk. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I would agree with that. Hey, Nana, so you got anything else you want to add to black families? No, not at this time, because I spent the whole time talking with, you know. <laughs> well, it's about time. Uh-uh. What do you mean it's about time? Start talking. Talk to these people. Look, look at that camera and says, I'm talking to you people. It's like, oh, you ooh, you just shot the people's a look, and you, ooh, you raised Oh, 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 oh. My, my, um. Ooh, okay, Horshack, what's up? Here. My, my, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> my Amazon is here. I gotta put you on hold and go get my Amazon. Oh, okay. Go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I think I just saw oh. a little ass. You, you know what? Stop it. You don't know how to act. Isn't getting is it getting a package from Amazon like Christmas Day? Don't you don't, don't you get excited when Amazon comes? I always I get excited when I get a pocket package from Amazon. That's so weird. But you know what's funny? What's even funnier, I don't always remember what I ordered when the package was <laughs> So it's even more exciting. What did I get? What did I get? So my mother walks around the house in, you know, torn. Her, you know, pajamas are torn. It's <laughs> like, yo, why? Like, like, why are you holding? I mean, the pajama is, the, the, the strap is hanging on by literally one thread, right? <laughs> and she had other pajamas. And I'm like, why is she doing these pajamas? So when she got sick and she was in the hospital and she came home, I was like, I'll be damned. I'll be damned with that though. So I went through her drawers and I threw away a lot of and I mean, anything that has a hole in it. Why are we why do we wear things that have holes in them when we have things that don't have holes in them? Right? It's not like if you have the thing that you have a hole in is the only thing you have. You have, but then again, it's like you have so much stuff you don't even know what you have. Half mm-hmm. of it you can't fit now, and you couldn't fit it when you bought it. But okay, that's another story. Mm-hmm. So I threw away all of the pajamas, and I bought her first. I bought her some pajamas, and I wanted her to have something heavy because she's always cold. Mm-hmm. And then um, I bought her like this loungewear. So first I bought her two pair of pajamas, and then I bought her this loungewear. So it's not pajamas, but it's something that she that's warm for her to wear around the house. Mm-hmm. So I, I just bought her two more, and she really liked them. And she's so funny because she looks so cute in them. <laughs> she was, I feel like this morning she had on, I gave her actually a pair of my uh, pajamas that were too small that I ordered. Um, they, I mean, they fit, but I just didn't like the way they fit, I should say. Right. So it's a little big on her, but... Um, I was like, oh, look at you looking cute. Uh, oh, and, and she's thinking cute. Mm. When I said, she was like, she was like, shit, that's right. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's right. I'm glad you're proud of that. I need to go back to the drawers and throw some more stuff away. Mm-hmm. And she got a closet full of clothes and she wears the same thing. I said, Mom, why do you keep wearing that blouse? And she was like, I keep wearing this blouse? I'm like, yes, you do. So I got her some more lounges. You know, it's just, it's just like a hoodie, a sweatshirt, right. and um, like pants. You know, like but they're like fleece, so it keeps her warm in the house, and she could wear it outside when we go to the doctor. Um, she could wear them, and it's comfortable. So, I just bought her two more, and she's like, "I told you, stop spending your money on me." And I done told you not to bore me. Mm, okay, Nana. Mm-hmm. So, black families. Black families. Got to get them some lounges. <laughs> oh, just, you know, like I said, my mom. My mother, like, really never splurged on herself. I think she she's more about, like, the house. You know, she's more like, you know, you know, she'll buy things for the house or she'd rather buy food. or, And I'm like, I mean, like food, not like food you got to eat every day, but she's like, just let's order takeout. Let's order Uber. Go on, buy. Somebody order me no Uber. Go in that kitchen and cook something. Right. So um, she never splurged on herself. She never bought herself really nice things. Right. Um, and so, I, you know, I, I want her to have nice things and I don't want... To be, I mean, even if it's walking, because I told her before, she's like, How come you always walk around the house like you going outside? Because mm. I 
don't want to run what I like I, I don't like I didn't even really know how to answer the question because really it was like so what should how should I walk around the house right I don't I don't know I mean like right now I have on you know uh, a hoodie and um some shorts I mean technically if it was summer I could wear this outside right you couldn't you, know, you could wouldn't necessarily want to wear that right now if you freeze and try to go outside like that right now be cold. Freeze your tatas oh, and it's and other things too. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> so um yeah, but I, I think that you should look as good as you feel. Mm. Even if you're just in the house. Mm. Okay. Even when you sit. My mother used to be the same way. Like I I've never seen my mother. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is so sad. I've never saw my mother yeah. walk around in something silky and luxurious. Her shit was always like she was out in the, like she just finished getting chased in the woods by, by the slave master and the and, and the bloodhounds and shit. And her shit was getting torn on the thorns in the swamp. Her, her her pajamas always looked like that. Like I'd never seen my mother with a new nice silky pair of feminine like it would be some shit that probably was feminine at one point but i don't know what he is got taught you know the ass cheeks be hanging out like you said the shoulder be hanging off the shoulder with one strap titty hanging out on one side of the <laughs> just looking crazy <laughs> and then got the nerve to walk with a shuffle <laughs> <laughs> Say come on, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 so I so I get what you're saying, you know, and I guess I don't know if uh you know, that probably would have been a nice gift to get from my mother somewhere along the line. I don't recall if I ever bought her anything like that uh while she was living. But I'm just like like I said, I, I'm and I'm racking my brain. I'm 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 sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm talking, did I ever see my mother just come out and something nice and you know momish and feminine or whatever and like you know and it's like no it was always some tattered falling apart piece of shit that she'd be walking around the house and that's how she was comfortable that's how she was comfortable uh, yeah i guess my mother comfortable like that too but i am not i be damned i be damned <laughs> damn. and you know what's crazy all the stuff i threw away she doesn't even know i threw it away i mean you know somebody might watch a video on one of my cousins and go back and tell her that i threw her stuff away but I'll deny it. Well, she might watch the video too. All right, Nana Do. Well, good talk, Nana Do. Good talk, Nana Do. Very yeah, good talk. Look, it's it always was all right. I felt like I was. Well, yeah, we, maybe we could have went a little right. deeper. Maybe we could have told more stories. But an hour is enough. I mean, people ain't going to. How long will we expect people to listen to us talk? I don't know. But I right, Nana. <laughs> I was so. going to say something. How long do I listen to you talk? Forever and ever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Ever, ever. Forever, ever. Hi, right. right, Nana Do. Well, it was always a pleasure speaking to you. Always. Always. All right, Thank Nana. Till next time. Later. Deuces. Later.